how about an internet? I wasn't even gonna put this here on uh, on a video, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna build a toilet paper holder and a paper towel holder. I'm gonna build, I think I'm gonna build three of the toilet paper holders because they're pretty cool and everybody seems to be wanting one, so I might give one away. And uh, it's pretty easy. I got some. What I was saying is, uh, I have some ornamental steel here. You see this, this here piece of uh, half by half, I think. And uh, there's two pieces already cut. And I got some, I guess it's a motor grader blade or, or some sort of cutting edge off of something that I've drug up. So I'm gonna make three six inch pieces here and I need to figure out about the paper towel holder, maybe another six inch piece. But I got them all cut, they're all measured. So let's get to cutting. What I've done to these pieces here, I took. You see, it's a. It was a cutting edge of some sort, uh, the bolt hole and everything in it. But I took the grinder and I hit all my rough edges and I blunted this down a little bit on the old cutting edge on both sides and rounded them. Then I took the orbital sander with some I don't know what's on it, 120 for wood or something. Knocked the rust off real good on both sides. And when I weld these things up, I will put the flattest side up and I'll tell you why here in a bit. Cut these down here too. I just held them with the pliers and cut them with the chop saw. You see me doing it. Uh, just to decor decorative or whatever. But I didn't measure back or get super picky with it. I just chopped them off. And, uh, and if like this one's a more of a cut than this one, I'll put the worst side to the back. Uh, and once I paint it, you'll never know that that's off and if you do whatever it's a toilet paper holder what's going to come up this decorative metal out of this kind of like so and uh so i need to bend this all the way over and then out but i cut these overly long that way i can uh recut it off i can cut let it run wild i can cut whatever i don't need off at the end so my, my bends haven't got to be super precise so i want it 18 inches tall so I'm gonna measure back, just say about, I'm gonna do 19 and a half. Now that I got these things bent double like this, I'm going to uh, get right here and I'm going to bend it out. The toilet paper roll was four and a half inches. So I'm gonna throw a quick measurement on this, say about five and a half. Right there. We're so gonna heat it, bend it up. Cut them where I let them run wild. I'm going to cut that where this will fit, whatever that is, an inch or something like that. And I'm going to measure 18 inches from there, roughly, make me a mark, and cut them all 18. And I'm gonna show you this board. I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint them on. You can see where I drew them out and I put some screws in. Them screws go all the way through here. 
So after I paint the bottom, I'll stick it on them screws and then I'll paint the rest of it. Here, I'll go ahead and tell you, I cut this off. I cut that off, sanded all this scale off the best I could. You can see there's a little bit of rust, whatever. I'm gonna paint it with this Rust-Oleum. And yes, I did have to dig off a quarter inch of hard stuff on the top and throw it in the trash. Anyway, the paint will still be good. All right, the last thing I did to these things is I put felt pads on the bottom. See, I put four pads uh, on there. That'll help them because I did use the rounded side uh, of the blade. So the felt pads will help keep everything level and it'll help keep from scratching the floor. But there you go. Homemade toilet paper holder. Like the videos, give us a like. See ya.